While we are in the subject of education, um, a, uh, an important point uh, for your education, um, I suppose some might consider this a bit of a diversion, and I'm not sure how, uh, you know, whether you'll ever see any questions on the exam about this, but your own professional education. Um, well, you need CPEs, Continuing Professional Education, and I'm a strong devotee of lifelong learning. Um, and uh, in that regard, I have been uh, annoyed by LinkedIn, uh, which some of you may be watching this on. Um, uh, when I go and uh, look at the site uh, to check up on uh, what's happening, if anybody has any problems, um, the uh, system has been recently uh, saying that they uh, want me as an expert in the field to answer certain questions and, and to participate in a collaborative uh, building of articles. And uh, yeah, most of the questions that they present to me are uh, pretty pathetic, and I haven't really had any, uh, felt any need to address it. But this morning's was on, uh, well, they, they started out by saying, how do you keep up with new technologies and new developments in the field, uh, such as cloud and AI, artificial intelligence, and uh, IoT. And I thought, well, I have something to say about this, so I went, uh, you know, clicked on the thing, you know, get started, it says. Uh, so I got started, and I started to read the article, and it was absolutely pathetic. Um, it was very pedestrian uh, material, which you could find in any uh, article entitled How to Do Your Security Architecture in 5Z Steps, which, of course, is impossible and, and ridiculous. Um, but that was, you know, about the level of um, stuff that they were dealing with here. And then I realized that if I wanted to contribute, I only had a few options to contribute under. That it, it wasn't sort of an open-ended thing. It, uh, you know, nobody was doing this. They made a big deal of the fact that this was an artificial intelligence-driven collaboration. And I'm... Well, I can, I can easily believe that ChatGPT or something like that wrote the initial material. It was, it was ridiculous. Uh, so, uh, I wasn't particularly happy, so, but it, it reminded me that I should be addressing these points to you. Um, now, the, the first thing is know your stuff, know your field. Because, uh, I mean, of the three examples they gave of new technologies, cloud is not a new technology. Cloud is nothing special. Cloud is just using someone else's computer. And once you realize that, you realize that we've been doing this for decades. Uh, you know, we called it things like time-sharing and distributed computing before, rather than giving it the name, the nebulous name of cloud. But that, uh, you know, it's not new. Um, all the uh, security provisions, protections, and considerations that we had to have for time-sharing and distributed computing, we still have to have for cloud. And, you know, it's there. It's, it's done. It's, you know, people know about this. So this is not new. So if you know your field, you don't have to worry about that new technology. That is not a new technology. Um, the same way with uh, uh, Internet of Things. Uh, the Internet of Things is just a uh, 
massively enlarged bring your own device situation. And we've already had to deal with the bring your own device movement. Uh, and, you know, so again, you know, the, the factors, the considerations that we need to have in that regard, we, you know, are the same that need to be applied to IoT. Uh, so, this is not new. This is, you know, it, it's massively enlarged and the attack service is enormous because of that, but it's not a new thing. Um, so, know your stuff, know your background. And uh, particularly in regard to artificial intelligence, know your background because artificial intelligence isn't a single thing. Artificial intelligence is a real collective of technologies and approaches and uh, so forth. And different areas will have uh, new results coming along. So, for example, you know, right now, everybody is, you know, oh, Dolly and chat GPT, you know, they're, uh, this is, this is amazing new stuff, this is creativity, this is, you know, we'll, uh, put information workers out of work and, and nonsense. Um, these are just tools, I mean, they're, they're pretty amazing tools, um, uh, in, in some regards. You have to learn how to use them. Uh, you know, it's, they themselves will not, you know, um, I, I put it to, I put G, chat GPT to the test myself, uh, and I asked it to write a sermon, and, uh, it gave me something that, uh, it was recognizably sermon-like, but it was way too short. And so I said, you know, this is way too short. Uh, sermon's 20 minutes long. This can be done in four minutes, you know. Uh, and it, uh, so it, it gave me another, which was almost identical. Uh, it couldn't figure out. You know, even when I'd given it the information, you need to be five times longer. No, it couldn't figure that out. It didn't understand that. It couldn't interpret that. So this is not artificial intelligence. This is uh, just... Um, you know, a tool. Uh, so, you know, our, know what artificial intelligence is, know the different aspects of artificial intelligence, and know when, uh, you know, one new development is being overhyped. Now, I, what do you do about learning and keeping up with actual new developments in the field? Well, there's no easy fix for this. You just have to pay attention. Like I say, you know, it's lifelong learning. You have to uh, consider, you have to read, you know, you've got the internet. Follow stuff on the internet. And a lot of things on the internet are absolute garbage. Well, you know, don't follow them. Uh, there's no easy way to, to pick and choose. Uh, the Risks Forum Digest. Find that. That's an excellent starting point. It's been going for uh, almost 40 years now. Uh, you know, do, do that. Uh, that's, that's a good one. Um, but others come and go, and sometimes they get better and they get worse. Uh, you'll just have to, you know, you're going to have to figure it out for yourself. Read books. Uh, go to the internet. Uh, look up sites. Follow uh, appropriate people on social media. And, and you're going to have to figure out who's appropriate for your particular field in security and uh, what is, is useful to you. Uh, so even there, you know, I can't give you a, a curated list other than risks. Risks is good. Risks is always good. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's straightforward. It's not easy. There is no easy fix. Keep learning.